I'm gonna tell you the five things you need for your first obstacle course race, and we're starting right now. Hey, what's up guys? Derek Kozanski here, your obstacle activist. And on this channel, we do obstacle course racing, gym reviews, as well as tips and trick videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So you just signed up for your first obstacle course race, but you're not sure what to bring. On this video, we're gonna cover the five things you need at your first race. All right, so we're gonna start off at number five and we're gonna work our way up to number one and what I think is the most important thing you need for your first race. Number five, fuel. Fuel can be anything from goo packets to honey stingers to salt tabs and pretty much everything in between to fuel your body the whole race through. Now, this isn't necessary for everybody, especially on those shorter races, but if this is your first race, I definitely consider it something that you'd wanna take along with you. Um, I see so many people out on the course who get cramps, you know, who run out of energy, who are dehydrated, and this race fuel really helps you along the way. Number four, guys, hydration vests or packs. Preferably, I like a vest. Time and time again, people come unprepared to races, they're not hydrated, so carrying around a hydration pack is something that they definitely would want to do. Now again, this is one of those things that not everybody needs, especially for those shorter races, but as a beginner, it's something you definitely want. Hydration vests and packs are great because they not only store your water, but they also store all your fuel throughout your race as well. A few of the most popular hydration packs are Camelback, Salomon, and Geiger Rig. All right guys, number three, compression clothes. Now, the reason why you wanna have compression gear is that when you're going through water and mud and all types of terrain, you don't want any type of cotton or loose fitting clothing. You wanna avoid cotton at all costs. It holds all of the water and all the moisture and will just weigh you down throughout the race. It also won't get caught on any of the obstacles such as the barbed wire whereas loose fitting clothing tends to get caught on barbed wire and all the other obstacles, making it much more challenging for you. Number two, high top compression socks. Kind of goes back onto number three about compression gear, but this one I do want to hit on differently because a lot of people end up getting short ankle socks and quickly regretting it, especially first time racers who don't necessarily know how to climb a rope or do a traverse correctly you're gonna burn up your ankles, you're gonna burn up your shins, and you're really gonna regret it. There's a million and one different sock brands out there, and honestly, any compression sock will do. That being said, there are off-course racing specific socks, such as mud gear, that are made just for racing. They have extra padding on the back, as well as allow for extra drainage. Those are the two most important things you wanna look for in a sock, protection and drainage. All right, guys, the one thing you absolutely must need for your first off-course race, even if you forget the fuel, the compression gear, the compression socks, the hydration pack, the number one thing you definitely need above anything else are trail shoes. I see time and time again, first comers at races who show up in their cross trainers, their running sneakers, pretty much all the above. And it just ends badly for them every single time. These are the same people you see falling down the mountain, rolling their ankle, getting hurt. They don't know what the heck is going on. You wanna be looking for shoes that are trail specific. Now these are shoes that have medium to heavy tread to go through mud, dirt, ice, snow, you name it, these shoes will do it. Just make sure when you're picking out your trail shoe that it meets the standards of that race. Most races do not allow metal spikes or cleats. Some of the more popular trail shoes out there for OCR are Innovate, Merrill, Ultra, Salomon, and Icebug, just to name a few. All right guys, that rounds out our list of the five things you need for your first obstacle course race. By no means am I saying that you need to go out and buy all this new gear for your first obstacle course race. These are just some things that really would have helped me going into my first race and I think would help you as well. There are definitely budget items in all the categories that I listed here for you today and I'll link some of my favorites down below in the description for you. I'll also list all the race gear that I personally use when I race in the description as well. I hope this really helped you out. I know these are things that you know really helped me out and that things that I wish I knew going into my first race. All right guys, question of the day. What do you think is the most important thing to bring your first off course race? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys.